the um, AG of Telecom Union Council. My particular note um, the presence of um, our Vice Lord Lieutenant Evan Fuels, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Nick Jenkins, representing the Rifles, and the Freedom of the Borough at this heart. And uh, I'm going to inform that our MD is on his way, David Wright. So welcome him when he arrives. Um, I was going to start being off slightly different, but we've had, obviously, we're all aware of the news that happened yesterday. And um, Lee Rigby is the name of the young serviceman who has a, a two year old son, I believe, who was um, currently put into words the incident that happened yesterday. So I think it's appropriate for this council and this borough just to give a, a one minute silence to the name. Thank you. <laughs> right. Now I'd like to um, flip the coin, for want of a better phrase. Um, we've seen the, um, the dark side of what uh, humanity is, is capable of, certain aspects of it, and we're going to go full circle, and we're going to um, welcome a young lad, a young lad from the Maidley area, Ashley Keegan, and it gives me great pleasure. Uh, Ashley has um, just been awarded the Young Citizens Award by the High Sheriff of Shropshire. Um, and this is an award um, that is, he's nominated by his teachers. So as a college lecturer myself, I, it, it must be impressive. Very impressive, and he's, he's doing very well, shyly sitting in the corner. Um, he's a fantastic role model. He does amazing work. His uh, um, GCSE results are A grade, I've been told. So that's very, very well done. Um, he gives a lot of his time. He, does, uh, um, he supports uh, training foster carers with help in Rekin. He's been involved in numerous consultations between the academy and outside agencies. And he's an all round general asset to the youth of Telford and Rekin. And the youth tend to get a lot of bad press from our very negative press. So it gives me great pleasure to award this certificate to Ashley Keegan. Well done. Right, I'd like to um, ask Councillor Jane Pinter um, for the declaration, please. <clears throat> Just the ward members to stand, please. Colleagues, we have our responsibilities democracy and well-being of all local people on behalf of the council and make this recommitment to our office as an elected representative. Elected to serve the public good, we recognise the public office as a privilege granted by the people and not a right. We, elected representatives of the people of Telford and Region, declare that we will, to the best of our ability, uphold the council's constitution and serve the committee of our work any private or personal interest. Thank you. Thank you. 
Councillor Pinter. Right, move on to the formal business of the meeting. Uh, the election for Speaker for 2013-14. Uh, nominations for the role of Speaker, please. Yes. Thank you. We have a seconder for the... Seconded. Seconded. Any other nominations to the role of speaker? I'd like to uh, nominate Mr. Uh, Dave Davis. Mr. Dave nominated in. Second. Seconded. Seconded. Uh, given Councillor Davis's probing of the chairmanship, I'm sure that he'll make an excellent speaker. I'm therefore very happy to, happy to second that nomination. We have any more nominations from the floor? I'll call for a, a vote. First of all, we'll have a vote on uh, Councillor Ian Fletcher. All in favour? Against? Okay. Now we need to vote for um, Dave Davis. All in favour of Dave Davis? Against? Dave Davis is duly elected speaker, 2013-14. I invite Dave Davis to come to the table. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, fellow councillors. Um, of course, it, it's a great honour and privilege to be given this newly recreated role, uh, working on behalf of the Mayor as Speaker of the Council. Therefore, I'd like to thank all members of all groups uh, for my election. I hope to be able to conduct all the debates in a calm, rational and good-humoured manner. <laughs> because, I think, because I think that's the way that we serve the interests of the people we represent. Uh, I will try to follow the ex ex excellent precedent of the retiring mayor in this respect, and I would ask for your cooperation in achieving it. However, I do recognize that uh, councillors of all persuasions sometimes become passionate, even excited. And that's not a bad thing. Um, I'll try to get all the procedures correct and try to get them right, uh, but I hope you will bear with me when inevitably uh, and hopefully occasionally I get them wrong and I'm sure some people will be keen to point it out. Uh, finally, uh, I'd just like to say Telford Reekin has a proud history as a strong and independent authority since it became a unitary in 1998. Uh, I intend as speaker to be single-minded in maintaining the independence of debate and of decision making and I see it as part of the job to defend the interests of the people of Telford and Rekin. Thank you very much. Okay, so if we, if we move to the agenda, item four, election of the deputy speaker for 2013 14, uh, I would ask for nominations for Deputy Speaker. Councillor McClements. Um, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, can I first congratulate you as, um, on your election as Speaker, and I'm sure you'll do a, a great job. Um, it is an honour and a privilege um, to propose my good friend here, comrade um, and comrade, Councillor Rob Sloan, for Deputy Speaker. The characteristics of this role is all about authority and your role as well, Mr. Speaker, impartiality and inclusiveness, and those are the characteristics that fit Rob to a T. Over the years, he has gained the respect of all members of this chamber, 
And respect is something which is not uh, given as a, as, a, as a given right. You have to earn it, and Rob has certainly done that. Thank you. Thank you, Angela. Uh, is there a seconder? Councillor Thompson? Can I second for Councillor Rob Sloan, my colleague in Wellington, who's doing an excellent job, and he will do an excellent job as the Deputy Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Are there any other nominations for Deputy Speaker? No? Uh, in that case, we'll take the vote. All those in favour of uh, Councillor Rob Sloan, please show. All those against? Abstentions? It's clearly carried. Congratulations, uh, Rob. We, we quite like Rob. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I'm sure that will be the Shall we put it in the minutes? <laughs> we now move to the appointment of the Mayor for the, for the new year, 2013-14. Uh, could I call for nominations? Please. Councillor Overton. I have the great privilege of moving to nominate Leon Murray to the role of Mayor for the Borough of Telford and Rekin. Leon is a genuine nice guy. He is warm, caring, friendly and passionate. And I don't think anyone could say a bad word about him. Leon has been an excellent Deputy Mayor and I believe one of the busiest ever. Leon has all the qualities you would expect for this role. He loves talking to people and he's a good listener too, but most importantly, he talks and listens from his heart. The mayoral role is actually made for Leon. For those who didn't know, in 2004, Leon was awarded the MBE and appointed as a Deputy Lieutenant of Shropshire. He has served as a member of the West Mercy Probation Board for 13 years, a director of four charitable trusts, president of the YMCA and chairman of a mental health charity here in Telford. I believe Leon will be a great ambassador for our town. He has the charisma, the dedication and desire to do it, plus the support of his good wife, Barbara. It is not every day you get to say such nice things about your comrades, but I'm sure most people would share in mine across the political spectrum. I so move. Thank you, Richard. Councillor Bicken, second. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's a privilege and a pleasure to second Councillor Liam Murray as the Mayor of the Borough of Telford and Rekin. Liam was born in Jamaica and moved into Telford in 1961. After two days of arriving in England, he attended the New Street Methodist Church in Wellington. He has been involved in the church from that day. He is a local preacher. He is a great community leader and he is able to reach out to all sections of the community. Leon has always opened doors and always ready to help those needy support and advice. He is a great, he is a genuine, hard-working man and a well-respected member of our community. And he is very much a family man. Liam has done an excellent job this year as Deputy Mayor. And I have no doubt that he will be a great ambassador for our town in the coming year. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Roy. Are there any other nominations for Mayor? Can I read? Yes, thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and congratulations on your appointment. Sir. Thank you. I'm sure we will try and make life as easy as we possibly can for you. I will so. bend over backwards to make sure that uh, you have an easy ride. I think the choice of uh, Liam is, is, is first rate. I can see the reasons for doing it. Um, and for all the qualities that have been said, and that's, uh, those are qualities that we would certainly support and wholeheartedly agree with. Um, but also, in addition to that, of course, and I'm sure Leon and his wife Barbara would mind just waiting 12 months or so, well, uh, there is somebody else who, who also fulfills that bill. Somebody with honesty, integrity, gravitas, brevity, experience, and of course, long service. Um, sorry, Councillor Sahota. That's very kind of you, but no, I didn't mean myself uh, on that at all. I'm talking, of course, about uh, Councillor Miles Hoskins, 
who I'm sure would bring uh, equal qualities to the job as mayor and represent this authority as well. I move uh, Councillor Hosking. Thank you. Is the uh, Councillor Hosking seconded? Yeah. Councillor Carson. Are there any further nominations? No? In that case, uh, I, I will put it to the vote in the order nominated. Could I see those in favour of Councillor Leon Murray, please? Could, could, thank you. Could I see those in favour of Council Miles Hoskin, please, show? Sure. I think there's a clear majority for Councillor Murray, and I declare Councillor Leon Murray to be the Mayor for 2013-14. Congratulations to him. Thank you. So we move on to item six, the appointment of the Deputy Mayor of 2013-14. Could I have any nominations, please? Councillor Clare. Could I, uh, could I nominate Councillor Malcolm Smith? It's, it's interesting. We live an, in a difficult time now. I'm always grateful, and I'll tell you now, personally, always grateful that there's somebody willing to take on the mayoral role. My boss a few years ago, who was a brigadier at the depot, said to me, Liz, when is it your turn? I said, never. It's not something that I want to do. But when you can find people that do it and do it well, we should be grateful. And the other thing is that we've got to recognise a few years ago, employers were very, very willing to have one of their staff as an ambassador for the town. It's a little bit more difficult now to allow the time off paid for one of your staff to be an ambassador for the region. Even more difficult if you're a youngster and you're looking and you're facing your career and it's something you really want to do. So I personally am very grateful that we have people like Malcolm, who is more than ably supported by Christine, and one of these years she's going to fall out with me. Because it's like Christine says, yes, she likes doing it, but perhaps somebody else is like a turn. I'm most grateful, and I really do appreciate and would move Councillor Malcolm Smith. Thank you, Liz. Uh, is that nomination seconded? Councillor Mason. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It gives me great pleasure to, to second the proposal for Councillor Malcolm Smith as Deputy Mayor, and I have no hesitation whatsoever knowing that he'll be a great support for our new Mayor. Thank you very much. 
Thank you, Clive. Are there any further nominations? I can't see any. So we'll move to the vote. All those in favour? Please show. Thank you. Are there any against? No, I think that's unanimous. Uh, I declare um, Councillor Malcolm Smith elected as Deputy Mayor. Congratulations, Malcolm. Uh, moving on to item seven, which is the vote of thanks to the retiring mayor. I call on Councillor Ray Evans to uh, move the vote of thanks. Mr. Speaker, many thanks for giving me the opportunity to say a few words regarding our outgoing mayor, Councillor Kevin Guy, or Mr. Mayor, as I've become accustomed to calling him. As you'll know, I'm fortunate enough to share the responsibility of looking after the Woodside Ward with Councillor Guy. But up until three years ago, I'd never met him before. Now I count him amongst my most trusted friends. He has that rare quality, possessed by a few, of making people feel that they are both valued and important. Over the year, Kevin has successfully demonstrated his belief the position of mayor is one that should reflect the vitality and business focus of our borough of Telford and Rekin. Taking events such as the visit of the Olympic torch and a number of royals comfortably in his stride. That said, I have to admit, at this time last year, I did wonder how he would fare taking on the chairmanship of such a lively council chamber. I needn't have worried. He did a great job raising the standards of behaviour and debate whilst bringing a much often needed humour to our proceedings. The work he has done in raising money for the maternity and children's ward of Princess Royal will be appreciated by the people of the borough and beyond and can rightly count as part of his legacy. I know that you will all join me in saying that he's had a truly inspiring year Therefore, Mr. Speaker, it gives me great pleasure to move this motion of thanks to Councillor Guy for his excellent year of tenure as mayor. And Kevin, I'm looking forward to you coming back and sitting with us. Thank you, Ray. Councillor Elliott, to second the vote of thanks. I don't know if I need that, to be honest. Um, Mr. Speaker, um, I wish to vote second the vote of thanks to the outgoing mayor, Councillor Kevin Guy. Kevin has been a breath of fresh air to tell the Greek, as I met him. He's served the town extremely well over the last 12 months. And combined with the new and business-friendly way this party has run the council, has shown Telford to be a vibrant, forward-looking, forward-thinking town. As I said last year when I proposed Councillor Guy as mayor, Kevin is a true friend. He has done everyone here tonight and every resident of Telford and Rekin proud over the last 12 months and I'm honoured to second the vote of thanks. Thank you, Clive. Um, I don't wish this to be an extended debate, wonderful though Kevin, Kevin is. <laughs> but uh, is there, would anyone else like to uh, support the motion? Councillor Thompson. Yes, 
see, that's been a breath of fresh air. It's nice to have someone young. Anyone younger than me looks extremely young to be honest. But, um, <laughs> no, he has. He's brought the vitality to it, and it, it's always been a pleasure to be in front of you. So I want to thank you very much. Thank you very much, Bill. Any, any more? Councillor Reynolds at the back. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I just want to keep it short. Um, Kev has been a real inspiration to me. Um, as mayor, I think he's done an excellent job, and I hope that one day I can follow in his footsteps and really make Kev a pro. Um, Kev has been an excellent mayor, so thank you. Thank you, Julie. Councillor White. I think he's been absolutely superb. You know. I've bumped into him a number of times. He's always looked immaculate, so it's a shame, but then again, that's. <laughs> <laughs> he actually got me wearing suits to swimming cancer, so that's not <laughs> But it, he has been bright, he's been nice, he's been talkative, he's done everything to trust the citizen of the borough to be good. And we, I'm very good, and I think he's done a smashy job. Thank you. Thank you, Derek. Um, I'd, I'd also like to add my support to the motion. I think Kevin's done a fantastic job throughout the year, and uh, he certainly impressed me at every stage. Um, if there are no more uh, speakers, I'll put their vote of thanks to the vote. Can I see all those in favour? Please show. Are there any against? That's unanimous. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll now call upon Councillor Kevin Gay to reply to the vote of thanks. Kevin. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, esteemed guests, fellow councillors, it has been an honour and a privilege to serve as your mayor for Telford and Reekin. Uh, this is normally the point, ladies and gentlemen, that the outgoing mayor spends a seeming eternity uh, recanting their past year. Um, so uh, that's why they put the food at the very end, so you don't, you don't leave prematurely. Um, and you'll also be extremely pleased to know that I've uh, reduced the speech down to 40 minutes for you. So. <laughs> I have been to speeches that are longer than that, I can assure you. Um, I have some special thanks to make. Um, uh, my partner, um, Gary, has been very tolerant um, for me being out many, many nights of the year to different functions. And um, we've got little Molly to look after as well. So I really, really appreciate Gary's support. And it's been much appreciated. Thank you very much. Um, there's obviously my mom and dad who are sitting there. Um, I'm sure they weren't always proud of me when I was a little boy, but I think hopefully they are now. Um, most importantly, I'd like to thank my granddad who's sitting there, who's 87. Um, he's not very well at the moment, I'm sure, but um, he's here supporting me. He's been a big inspiration. He used to be in the Royal Navy, same as myself, and hopefully I've been able to follow in his footsteps and do him proud. So thank you very much, Granddad. Um, I'd like to thank... Um, Bill, Democratic Services, they do a brilliant job. They don't get thanked enough. They work very, very tirelessly behind the scenes. So very, very well done. We've got Emma and Courtney. Emma's sitting there. I'm not going to embarrass her with a, a present this year. Um, she told me not to. So I haven't got her anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Already could um, I'd like to thank Nick Holding um, and Adrian Osborne. Uh, they're from the... Uh, um, the Hospital Trust. Um, uh, Nick Holding, who's here with his wife. Nick, give us a wave. Where are you there? Okay. Well, we did the amazing £18,000 for the charity. So, um, I think it's traditional that I give some advice to the incoming mayor. Good luck with that. Um, <laughs> my advice would be, uh, if you turn up to a, uh, an event that's not on, don't let the Shropshire star know that you went. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That could be a, a... Um, Last but not least, I'd like to thank um, uh, David Wright, our MP for Telford. He's a, a loyal and trusted friend. Um, and I remember writing a letter to him when I was at university asking if I could come and help as a volunteer. Um, and he kindly met me in his office and I thought it was just a big occasion. Um, and I put my best suit on, I trottled down and and that uh, give, give me a little spiel in the office um, and he's been a big inspiration and help ever since I met him so thank you very much David 
Um, I'd like to point out that um, while I've been mayor, it's been quite interesting. People keep uh, pointing out my uh, boyish looks and youthful looks, um, but uh, I'm not as not as not as young as I look. I'm actually. Uh, Pushing on to my 68th birthday. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, um, I've hopefully, hopefully, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully shown that uh, the role of mayor could be both above politics um, and relevant to everybody. Um, there are um, uh, certain roles that um, that are quite unique, and I think the role of mayor is a very unique role that um, is, is a difficult task. Um, but it's one that I think Tottenham Reekin uh, uh, needs, and I think it's one that um, um, is a good, great asset to the, to the council. And that's every, that's all parties, and that's the way it should be. And I think Leon will continue that role. Um, right, charity. Uh, good news. Okay, uh, I chose my charity, Caring for Our Future Appeal, to raise money for a new garden room at the. Um, children's maternity ward that's being built at the moment. Um, I had a walk around when I was going to become mayor, I was in Leon's position, um, and the actual state of the outside play area was shocking before. Um, so I made a commitment to support that. And thankfully, I'm very pleased to report that the Mayor's Charity this year has raised um, £45,464 in the year. Um, and I'd like to put a huge, huge thank you for the people of Telton Reekin. Everyone who's volunteered for that, they've given up lots of time, lots of effort, and that is an amazing <coughs> effort, particularly in such harsh economic times. So thank you very much to the people of Telford. <laughs> this year's obviously been a great year. I can't leave the lecture obviously without thanking. Uh, we had a big star guest come within the year. It was Majesty's visit to Cosford. I think that went swimmingly. We have the man who was in charge of the whole event, Colonel Tules there. I think it went very well, did it, Colonel? Yeah. I, I think she reported back that it, she enjoyed it. Yeah, so that's good. That's good. I didn't get to speak to myself afterwards. So I don't, she didn't give me a phone call. I don't know. Um, we also had the Olympic torch. You saw the Olympic torch come through. Um, amazing event. Loads of people in the borough got to see the torch. There's a bit of poo poo in beforehand. Typically British affair. Oh, God, it's going to be a waste of money. It's not going to be a success. It was a huge success. The Olympics was a huge success. So that's another great thing for Talbot and Rican that was. I was very, very proud and honoured um, to congratulate some of our Olympians, Paralympians, on their uh, medals as well. And that was a, a huge honour that I was given in the year. Um, in conjunction to being mayor, um, I work very closely with my fellow councillor, Ray Evans, um, and who supported me in Woodside. Um, we work very well together. I look forward to continuing our challenging and uh, very rewarding work in the borough of Woodside. Um, and that's it, baby. Uh, um, this year, it's been a privilege and an honour um, to be your mayor. Uh, thank you very, very much. Kevin, Kevin, before you go, before you go, Kevin, could I ask, call on the managing director to make a presentation, please? Okay, thank you ladies and gentlemen. If we move on to uh, some of the business items on the agenda. Item 9 uh, is apologies for absence. Have we any apologies for absence? Four apologies, uh, Speaker, Councillor Iron, Councillor S. Davis, Councillor Burrell and Councillor Keenan. Thank you. Um, are there any declarations of interest? I've received no declarations unless there are any from the floor. Speaker. Any from the floor? No. Thank you. Moving on to item 11, which is the minutes of the Council of the meeting held on the 2nd of May 2013. Councillor Sir to move. I moved that meeting. They moved. Seconded by the Deputy Leader. All those in favour, please show. That's carried. 
Item 12 announcements, and I will now invite the new mayor, Councillor Leon Murray, to give a short address. I'm not going to preach a sermon, you'll be glad to know, but distinguished guests, fellow councillors, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great privilege and honour to be elected Mayor of Borough of Telford and Weekin. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you all for giving me this privilege of serving in this area for the coming year. I will do my best to represent the power and to serve every section of the community with all its diversity and challenge. Thank you to all staff that so able to support the Mayor and the Deputy Mayor throughout the last year. And I would like especially to congratulate the retiring Mayor and the wonderful job that he has done throughout the year. Thank you, Kevin, for all that you've done. I hope I can follow in your footsteps. I'd like to thank Emma and our colleagues, and I look forward to working with you during the coming year for all the support that you've given to us. During my office, dear office, I aim to meet as many sections of the community as possible and to support and affirm the work which is done by so many. And I want especially, because somebody mentioned this to me after I came in here, first to say business, big and small, education and training, the voluntary sector, and the public service. Because I believe that these groups and organizations are the backbone and lifeblood of our body. And I want during my year to affirm and to support them. And our many volunteers who give so much to our community. Without them, our community would be much poorer. I move on. I have chosen to support my, as my charity for the coming year, the seven hospices, and also the work of cottage care in Wellington. I was part of the group of people which was instrumental in working towards the reopening of the cottage hospital in Wellington as a care. And I've tried since then to support their work over the years. My commitment to the hospice is as a result of my admiration for the tremendous care thrown throughout the hospice movement, which I have seen in action as a pastoral visitors over the years. And you will be pleased, not pleased, uh, because the thing is that when I went home on was it Tuesday night or Wednesday night from a civic appointment at nine o'clock at night. I had a phone call from the hospice to visit somebody who was on the point of death. So that's in a sense is my involvement with the hospice in Telford and in Shrewsbury. And this is my reason for supporting them as a charity during my year of office. And I ask you to support me with the fundraising because I think this charity does a tremendous job in our community. I would like to close by thanking my family, my friends, and all my colleagues for the continual support because without you all, I would not be able to take on this responsibility with all the other responsibility I carry in our community and in the wider country of the UK. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Leon. Uh, I'll now ask the leader of the council, Councillor Culips Hota, to address the meeting. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, distinguished guest, ladies and gentlemen, fellow councillors. I think I ought to thank my wife for bringing this speech over. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to start by casting my mind back to last year's AGM. Uh, you know, I spoke about uh, Her Majesty's visit, and also I spoke enthusiastically about uh, the Olympic torch uh, passing through our borough on its journey to the London Olympic. And what a great day, great day that was. Uh, the torch started in Iron Bridge onto the uh, town centre and then uh, on its way to Newport. And uh, it was quite a, a day to remember. And thanks for everyone for turning out. And also, a big thank you to our Olympians and Paralympians for taking part. And in particular, for our gold medalist, uh, Mickey Bushel and Danny Moore, uh, Danny Brown, sorry. And not, not forgetting, uh, uh, forgetting, of course, the gold post box in Alston and a gold painted bus. So, well done to everyone. Mr. Speaker, it continues to be a tough and challenging time for local government. But our council employees remains committed and enthusiastic, and I would like to say a big thank you to all of them for all their hard work and dedication over the past year. And I would like to reassure them and the residents of Telford and Rekin that we will remain one community, one council, Telford and Rekin. Let me be more clear. There will be no merger, no takeover, no central life at all. Determined, focused to deliver the best service for the people of Telford and Wheaton. Despite devastating government cuts, yes, devastating government cuts, Telford and Wheaton is a success story. And we will continue to increase the reputation of Telford and Wheaton nationally, internationally, and building destination Telford as a place to live, to work, to visit, and to locate. When residents put their trust in us two years ago, our mission was to change the way this council works from the top, the council works from top to bottom by being a cooperative council. We are now a truly cooperative council our values and priorities are clear to see. We have achieved significant success over the past 12 months. Our volunteers, snow wardens, scheme which so many of the community, sport, community members supported during the harsh winter and which more people are and groups are sort of clamoring to join. Growing number of town and parish councils working with us to provide an environmental action team to keep their areas even greener and cleaner. The involvement and support from our employees and cooperative commission in helping to shape our direction leading to policy initiatives. Our commitment to the way we live, our values, of openness, honesty, fairness, respect, involvement, and ownership. For example, we are one of the only council to publish its expenditure to above 100 pounds, inviting filming at our meeting, like, like a, as it is now, and as a direct, this is all as a direct result of a transparency policy. We have laid very firm foundation on which we will continue to build that we can drive this borough forward. For us, our members, the number one priority is clear. We will fight hard for jobs and growth 
in our borough. We are determined to make Telford the place, yes, the the place to do business in. The borough where business and investment are welcomed. We are already, already a long way down that path. And I can give you some examples now. Business winning and business sporting culture of the council. We have opened our first point for business to make it easier for companies to contact and to do business with the council. We are stripping away the red tape and bureaucracy, making our planning process much simpler. Small business loan funds, which has already lent over 200,000 to local firms protecting and creating jobs. 250 million pounds south water development. Now what can I say about that one? It is taking shape right before our eyes at this moment. And in six months or so, it will be open and running. Restaurant, bars, hotel, 11 screens, cinema, right next to our newly refurbished ice rink, and of course, next to our 400 acre town park. Here, Mr. Speaker, I would like to pay tribute to my colleague, Councillor Keith Austin, under whose leadership, yes, under whose leadership, this whole remarkable project of South Water got off the ground. So thank you, Keith. Our announcement this week of the exciting Tea Live and Tea Party Festival this summer attracting top name and brands like McFly and 20,000 people shows our ambition and where we are going. We are putting Telford on the map and making it a destination that people want to talk about. Visit the place and the, visit the place to do the business. The launch of our Invest in Telford initiative next month will spread this message even wider. We are pushing Telford forward and we are asking our partners and our residents to join us. It is through jobs and growth that we will provide opportunity and create wealth for our residents, while at the same time creating the potential for new income that new homes and a growing population will bring to our community. But this council must also become more focused on developing new commercial edge and opportunities. Next year, next year we will be delivering this in many different ways. From entering the housing or rental market, selling energy or other services to the private sector. Wherever we see the opportunity, we will grab them with both hands. This extra income will be key to helping us protect and maintain those vital services which this council provides to our residents. Make no mistake about it, this new income will be absolutely vital as we are to continue to provide these services to our residents. Because next year, more cuts are on the way. But the future is not simply about finances. It is also about how we address the key challenges ahead for the borough. Tackling unemployment, particularly amongst the young, and improving training opportunities for them. Mr. Speaker, it is an absolute national and local disgrace that we have 3,000 young people out of work and training here in Telford. Wherever, over the coming months, we will be bringing forward a bold solution to help these young people of the bottom. Reducing health inequalities, narrowing the gap between the most affluent and the most deprived part of the borough. In the last year, we have also built 
the firm base from which we and our partners can start to tackle these issues. We have persuaded many businesses to join our push to create opportunities for young people through apprenticeship. The council is leading the way and I'm delighted to say that we have now had over 125 apprentices working in Telford and Wheaton. And we are looking to grow this even further as a result of our push, over 300 apprentices have been created in local businesses. Our Telford loyalty card shows how we are taking an innovative approach to getting people more active. While also supporting local business, we, are now more, we have now more than 22,000, yes, 22,000 people signed up for Telford loyalty card and 120 businesses offering residents a range of discount, helping to encourage them to spend more locally in a local business and save money for our residents. Tourism is an important part of the borough's economy, the heart of which is the Iron Bridge, Iron Bridge Road World Heritage Site, attracting hundreds of thousands of visitors each year. The board helped to bring more than 20 million into the borough each year from the visitors. This is why this year we have begun to invest 17.6 million into the biggest land stabilization scheme in Jackson. Mr. Speaker, this administration, this cabinet, this leader remained focused and determined. Fighting for a fair deal for Telford and Rican to be on the side of the residents and fighting for jobs, investment and growth in our town. Despite government cuts, we are a council that is determined to move forward and take every challenge as an opportunity to adapt and change. Despite government cuts, last year we have shown that this administration can, can achieve great things even in the toughest of times. Despite government cuts, our achievements will shine through as Telford and Rican becomes the center in our region. We are Telford and Rican Council, a council that will always serve the people of Telford and Rican, and a council that will always do its best for the communities of Telford and Rican. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Colin. I'd like to take the opportunity to welcome David Wright, MP for Telford, who's just arrived. Nice, nice to see you, Dave. Uh, we'll move on. <laughs> Item 13 is appointment to cabinet. That's who again, Colin? Yeah, I move the list of the cabinet uh, appointment. Thank you. Is that seconded, Richard? Thank you. Uh, all those in favour, please show. Those against? That's clearly carried. Uh, similarly, item 14, uh, appointments to committees and boards. That's, you have that in uh, Appendix C. Uh, I'd like to take it on block, Khalid. Yes, I'd like to move them all on block. <laughs> that's, that's moved and seconded. All those in favour, please show. Those against? That's clearly carried. Uh, item 15, uh, the programme of dates for the ordinary meetings of the Council for the year 2013-14 are, are in the agenda. Are those agreed and noted? Thank you. Um, this that brings us to the end of the, the business of the meeting, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I, will, I would like to invite all members and guests to stay after the meeting is closed for refreshments which will be served from the rear of the theatre. Uh, but uh, members and guests will be invited to move into the bar or serving area while the, table, while the tables are, are set up here. Um, and um, I would ask uh, everyone please to remain seated while the, the civic party retire. The last time I was in uh, this hall, I came here to see the comedian Andy Parsons. And, and he... Uh, 
had this trick where he flicked, clicked his fingers like that and all the stars on the star plot turned, turned out. Unfortunately, I'm not able to do that, but that's my, that's my ambition for the future. It's real power. <laughs> Thank you very much for your attendance and uh, I'll close the meeting. Thank <laughs> you.